Hi, it's Molly, and I wanted to share my updated routine for getting strawberry blonde hair at home. I recently switched over to Wella Color Charm. I get this at Sally's Beauty Supply, and I've been super, super happy with it. The color comes out the perfect amount of red in the strawberry blonde, and it also lasts really, really well. I haven't had nearly as much fading. So I'm going to be using 8RG uh, Tight and Red Blonde and 8G Light Golden Blonde. Also... I'm going to be using volume 20 developer now the color charm is a one to two formula meaning for every ounce of of color you use you're going to be adding twice the amount of developer so for every ounce of color you're going to be adding two ounces of developer you're also going to need plastic gloves i mix in one of these mixing bottles right from sally's it has the ounces on the side i also like to use a comb so once i put it in my hair I work it really into the hair with the comb. I'm gonna be starting out using half a tube each for my roots, and then I'm gonna mix up the rest when I go through the body of my hair. Open the door because it does get really smelly in here if you don't do that. And I'm gonna start by putting some coconut oil on my ends. I like to just work it into the bottom about two to three inches, just so that this hair doesn't get too fried. All right, as you can see, my roots have gotten pretty crazy. I think I'm at this point 90% gray. I'm gonna open up my dye. What I like about the color charm is you can see here it has the numbers right on the side. You can see right here on the side it says one ounce. I'm gonna add an ounce of the 8G Golden Blonde. And I'm going to add four ounces of developer. It sort of looks like a candy corn that you'd eat at Halloween, right? I'm going to shake this up really carefully. I'm going to start with the roots right on top of my head. And I'm going to go around the outside of my face. All right, I'm gonna let this sit for 15 more minutes and then I'm gonna pull the rest of the color through my hair. I'm gonna go get some fresh air. I'll see you guys in a little bit. It's been 15 minutes, so I'm gonna mix up the rest of the color really fast and run it through my ends for the last 10 minutes. I'm gonna uh, catch up with you guys after it's all rinsed out. Here are the results. I definitely recommend shampooing it at least once just to really get all the dye out. I love this shade of strawberry blonde. It has a little bit more, uh, actually I think a lot more intensity of the redness. You could definitely just put in less of the Titan Red Blonde. So put in maybe a full tube of the light golden blonde and half a tube or three quarters of a tube of the Titan Red Blonde. And that would give you a little bit more of a blonde result than a strawberry blonde. I might try that one next just to see. But I do love how red this comes out. So those are my results. Let's actually go outside so you can see it in sunlight too, just to see the difference between, this is like, I'm inside my bathroom, obviously. So let's go outside. This is the natural light in my living room as well. This is my hair about a week after coloring. The color doesn't change too much, it's just um, at the roots the color changes a little bit. It's less uh, hot. You know how they say, like sometimes when you finish coloring it's a little bit hot at the roots, it's a little bit more red. So as you can see, it really does blend nicely with 
the rest of your hair. Thank you so much for watching and I hope this video helps. If you are wanting to go strawberry blonde at home, these are all my results. And you can check out my blog too. I have a ton of info on every redshade I've ever tried coloring my hair at home. So check out the blog www.girlgetglamorous.com and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.